So we've got a rain day today, kind of nasty outside, cold. So what better day than to work on zero turn. So I think what I'm gonna do first is get all this grease cleaned out of this engine compartment. And we'll go from there. Looks a lot better. I think while I'm in here, I'm gonna also clean the bottom of this thing up too. Much nicer. Look how nice and pretty that looks. Now we can start putting the motor in this thing. We've got all four of the engine bolts tight. Now we should be able to start working on getting some of the electrical hooked up on this thing. Hooking up the ground wire. Hooking up the positive cables to the starter solenoid. Sorry guys, this isn't a very good view, but there is not a lot of room down here, and I really can't get the camera at a better angle. Now I just have to tighten that nut up, and it should be all good. So we've got one more connection under here to make. This just snaps together. Fuel line to hook up. Okay, spring clamp is back on. Okay, so now it's time to hook up the control levers. We're going to hook up the choke first. So we'll grab that one. Now the choke is on the bottom, this lever here.
Water coming out of there. Throttle lever. Put a little anti-seize compound on here just to kind of make things go together a little more smooth. And also, if I ever have to change this clutch that I'm about to put on, it might even come off. So this here is the pulley for the main hydrostat drives. That goes on first. That spring holds that tensioner, but we don't really necessarily worry about that right now. Next thing to come on the shaft is this. This is the, well, oh, it's going to be difficult to do. Hmm. Hmm. So I think what I might do then is put that spring on this tensioner so it holds itself while I work on this other one. Let's do that. There. That should keep that pulley from falling now. So next to go on is the clutch for the mower deck itself. This one's a little tricky to get on because there's a spline inside that goes on the crankshaft and also a stud here that has to go into the mainframe. And they all have to line up or it won't go together. Oh wow, that one actually went together easy for us. We've then got to put this adapter and line that up with the keyway inside the clutch. This is tricky to do, guys. <laughs> okay, we can get that bolt started. That'll hold the whole thing in place on the bottom of the engine. It'll be in much better shape. Look at that, okay. So that's about two ugga duggas, I think. That's the torque spec for these things. Huh. But in all reality, we'll grab a torque wrench and we'll put a proper torque on that bolt and we'll go from there. Next up is the exhaust. Replacing these gaskets. This is the part number, in case you're curious.
Okay, so don't forget about the belt keeper. This has two tabs, and that helps to center the belt, and also it keeps the belt from flipping off whenever you disengage the mower deck. And that bolts on the back of the exhaust. Kind of a funky setup, but... A nice little bracket to hold the air cleaner to the engine. All right, so we're just about ready to fire this thing up, or at least try to fire it up. Had to get a new battery though, because it was missing one. I don't really particularly love these batteries, but it's whatever CarQuest had, and they were open on a weekend, so I'm gonna put this thing in here and see if we can get any action on the key. I always like to write the date on the batteries, that way whenever you look back at it, you can see when you put it in. And either admire how long you got out of the battery life, or how little you got out of the battery life. fuel. Alright guys, so I did something stupid. The reason why it was running funny was because I got the choke and the throttle huh, hooked up on opposites. So let's get that straightened out. Try it again. There, that looks a little better. Well, I didn't take this thing apart, so I had no idea <laughs> how this thing went back together, but I got it backwards. So let's try this thing again. See how it runs now. Okay. 